Hello, welcome to my garage. Um, this is not an expert video by any means, but I thought I'd make a quick video just to tell you uh, what the clutch is. Uh, in non-technical uh, terms, because I am not an expert at this. But uh, this is my uh, a Seaberg LS2 Gem, 1968-ish. Uh, and this is the mechanism that goes inside. Now typically you can't see where I'm at because there's a big record rack in the way. And that's the record rack. I've got it sitting under that towel over there. But uh, and I wouldn't recommend you taking the record rack off when doing what I'm doing. But I've got a, an issue here so I'm taking this apart. Uh, but while I'm at it I thought I'd tell you what a clutch was. So Because you normally don't see the clutch very well. But this is the clutch in my hand. And um, what a clutch does is it transfers energy from the motor uh, to the mechanism to do various things. So this uh, black thing here is your motor. And if I turn the motor coupling, my finger here, it's going to turn this big brown flywheel, which is, and then it transfers it down to this, and you see the small one spinning right there? You see that? Well, that touches this. And so that spinning, in turn, makes this spin. And when it spins, it goes down here, and there's a couple of different things that it does. There's two different gears, basically, that it can touch. One is this one here. See it spinning? That meshes up with this. And this shaft is what, when it turns, there's all these little cams in here that aren't that are shaped in different oblong fashions, and when they turn, they make the mechanism uh, do different things. Specifically, they uh, it's turning a little bit there. As it does that, it, it does things. So that's what that part of the clutch does, and then the bottom part of the clutch. You see this bottom cog, and again, I'm not using all the right technical terms, I'm sure. Uh, look it up in your parts manual. We'll actually tell you all the right terms, and it'll actually show this clutch expanded into all the little pieces, but it's nice to see in person, I think, what a clutch looks like. So the bottom part on this, when this piece spins, when the top spins in, in, in such a way that it makes this one spin, then it's going to shuttle it into these little teeth here, and it's going to make this carriage go back and forth um, on the base of the mech. So that's kind of how it works and when the arm pulls up it, it engages different parts and it makes one part spin and, or another part spin. Or neither spin depending upon where it's sitting there's like three different places it can be. And it hooks in these little teeth and right there and decides if that's going to be closed or open. See that? And then this one has got the same on the top. See how I'm looking at So that will engage this. Um, problem with the clutch is you can't get to it and oil it. And it really gets gummed up from years of having old oil turned to varnish and goo. Or glue or cement, whatever you want to call it. But it's really nasty stuff that you can't get off. And so uh, you want to oil this and get as much oil in here and just let it drip down and wipe it off underneath as, as you can. And of course the oil to use that uh, is the uh, is this kind. You'll know that it's the right kind because it's a little picture of a motor on the front of it and it says motor oil. Don't use the kind that doesn't have that little picture. And uh, you get that at Lowe's or Home Depot or wherever for three bucks. But uh, oil the bejeebers out of this. Uh, you can't get too much oil in here because it's definitely it needs it. But you don't see that side, you see it like this. And you see this shaft right here? This is a, uh, a little shaft in here. And what happens for a lot of times is that these points right inside of here and here and under that spring under there, those get all seized up with just old oil and gunk and doesn't work right. So this arm needs to be able to freely move like this. But when I first was messing with this, it was not moving at all because it had so much junk in there. So it's very important to put oil 
in those spots to make this work. If it doesn't, and that doesn't work right, you're not going to have a jukebox that works correctly. So, anyway, I'm, again, I'm no expert at this, but I thought since I had the mech out, I would, uh, or the clutch out, I'd give you a quick video. Hope it helps.